sure. Um, you know, a week ago, um, or the last 10 days, we've had a couple games, we've taken a little bit of a step back in terms of our expectations and how hard we play. Um, and, and that's all we talked about, you know, executing the game plan and not putting our heads down. And even though we have some guys that are um, ha hadn't had a lot of minutes at this level, we knew that was going to be really important in this game to, to come out here with a win. But I thought the guys, this was our best 40-minute effort in terms of executing a game plan and playing hard. And, and honestly, I think we played really hard. We had a couple lapses, which is going to happen. Um, but we made plays, and it was fun watching the guys out there playing hard and, and, and listening to what we were trying to accomplish and coming together. And there was a lot of that tonight. So I think uh, even in a loss, we, we made some big strides tonight. Coach, what were the key elements in your game plan? Well, we wanted to, we talked about it in football terms, you know, time of possession. You know, you see, uh, you hear about Alabama and LSU a lot talking about time of possession. We wanted our offense to have the ball a lot so that. Uh, they couldn't have the ball on offense and hit those runs that Louisville does and obviously hit a lot of threes and get us in foul trouble, those types of things. So time of possession was important. And we watched our game from three years ago, and we really thought that we had to scrap for every rebound we could and make some extra hustle plays and get those 50-50 balls to take the crowd out of the game. You know, for the most part, it was a pretty quiet game, and that's the way we wanted it. When it got loud, they made some runs, and we knew we weren't executing uh, totally. But, uh, you know, that was, the, that was the biggest thing, control the tempo, and make sure that we just scrapped every possession and helped each other out. Coach, I think it was even from a confidence standpoint, you guys coming in confident, even you know, facing number 14, but how important was that to come out with confidence? Well, you know, we're never going to be happy with a loss, but I think the guys were excited about this opportunity. And I think they've been working really hard all year. And, and it's good to see some results for them. And, and even in a loss, you can see the confidence uh, that we built up probably over the first 30 minutes of the game. And, uh, and that's important. That's important to any team uh, going into league play for us. It's important to know that we played a very, very tough non-league schedule and that from this point forward we can play with anybody. And uh, now it's coming down to you know final execution and making sure we're making free throws and doing some things down the stretch to give ourselves a win. What changed, I guess, from the Furman game to this one? It was just it's a completely different team. So I guess, what did you guys do in practice so where you guys could go out like this tonight? Well, I think, you know, sometimes you got to hit a low point to totally understand how to win a basketball game. I mean, we're not a team. We're, we're talented, but we're young. Um, and there's young in terms of experience. Even our veteran guys, I think Jamal's our most experienced guy uh, in terms of playing minutes. So even our senior and juniors have not played a ton of minutes from last year's team. So the, the experience factor is important. What I think we've done the last couple of games is put our head down when we get down. And tonight we said, hey, the guys in the room are going to get it done. I don't want to see any bad body language. I want to see you guys fighting hard for each other. And if somebody makes a mistake or needs uh, someone picking them up. I want to see four teammates in the bench picking that guy up. And try not to compound one mistake into another. It's one thing Louisville does. I think they make you make multiple mistakes, and that can lead to a run that's just hard to come, you know, hard, hard to defeat. Can you talk about the separate runs at the end of the first half and at the end of the game? I'm sorry, say it one more time. The runs at the end of the first half and at the end of the game? Yeah, the, the one at the end of, end of the half really hurt. It, it really hurt. We, we just, uh, you could just feel the energy in the building shift and it started with a free throw uh, where we just weren't ready for the for the press and uh, it can that can flip in a hurry with the way Louisville plays and we didn't respond that well now second half I thought we came up came back out and got the momentum back in our side so I thought that was a real positive and then obviously at the end of the game you got to make your free throws and you got to you know do those things to, to finish out the game but one thing I'm really happy about, we never stopped fighting. You know, for 40 minutes, I don't care if we were down 10 at the end, we kept fighting, and I'm proud of the guys for doing that, and that says a lot about them. Coach, was there any uh, particular game plan on containing Siva? Well, he's so fast, <coughs> and he really hurt us last year. I mean, last year he looked like Derrick Rose, you know. I mean, he, he was really, really good last year. He made shots, he made shots off the pivot, he got in the lane, he had three-point plays, he made a lot of plays last year. I'm not sure from his injury if he's totally 100%, but uh, you know, keep him out of the lane. It's a chore. It's, it's really a chore. He's a special uh, talent in that area, and uh, 
for the most part, we did a good job. I thought Leahy got all the way to the rim. We wanted to make him make make jump shots and hopefully keeping the ball out of some other shooters' hands. And um, I thought we did a pretty good job, but it, it's it's really hard to contain him and keep him out of the lane for the whole game. Being four and nine at this point, did you expect to be here? And what do you tell your guys to try to make sure that they keep moving forward versus getting caught up in that? Well, we we've, we've had our fair uh, share of adversity with with injuries and guys out and. I think the guys have come to work every single day to practice to get better. Uh, I'm not going to say I'm happy with where we're at, but I'm also, you know, I understand coaching, I understand teams, and I do know we have a lot of new guys. And we've had our fair chances, we've had our chances to win some basketball games, you know, uh, against good teams. You know, VCU, we were up 12 with six minutes to go. Uh, we had them, you know, down a point in the last six minutes of the game. At our place, uh, we had St. Joe's, same thing, one-point game. And now, you know, a run here or there can put it out of contention. And against good basketball teams, that's going to happen. And uh, that's why we play a good non-league schedule, get ourselves ready for the conference play. And from here on out, I think it's let's make sure we understand how to win games and go out and execute because the guys really did that this week. They were focused all week. We carried it over to the game. And not a lot of change in terms of preparation. I think the guys went out and they really – just had, they were really locked in mentally. Force 20 turnovers and Steven into six. What was the key to that? How'd you get them? A couple were late. A couple were late where we went after them and had, you know, all out pressure and did a good job. But, um, you know, I think that came down to the, the, the scrap that we needed to win this basketball game. That the reason why we were, win, we were able to win three years ago, I thought we really, really hustled. And tonight, you know, deflections, diving in after loose balls. Different things they're going to win you a basketball game against a good team. They have great length. They pass the ball well. We didn't give up on plays. I, I didn't think they took, honestly, I, I don't think they took a lot of uncontested shots. And we have to be that team that really scrambles for each other, and that's going to allow you to get back in plays and turn people over. Jamal being an upperclassman, did you see the young guys kind of turn the corner tonight? Let me ask you a question. Who is everyone else in here? I'm getting questions from like four people. <laughs> who, is everyone, who is everyone else? Please introduce yourself and ask a question. There's like 80 people in here. Go ahead, Chad. I'm sorry. Uh, Jamal, being an upperclassman, did you see the young guys kind of grow up tonight? Definitely. Uh, definitely. Uh, I'm very proud of our young guys for stepping up. You know, we knew what we had to do. And, you know, I'm proud of them, and I think they really bought into what we were trying to do, and their focus was, was actually great. So. Jamal, what was the big thing? You know, they, you thought, the, like Chad was saying, they had the runs in the half, beginning the end of the game. What, what kind of, what was different for you guys you know, that led to those runs? I just think just focus. You know, uh, it was a couple of times where, you know, we had lack, uh, a lack of execution, you know. So, you know, I think in that area, just was focus. What was it like for you to come back home and play at the Yum Center? Uh, it was my first time playing here, obviously, but you know, it felt in the Yum Center, but it really felt great to come home and play in front of my family and friends. So, you know, unfortunately, we wasn't able to get the win, the win so they, they really, they really stung. So, for Derek, uh, was there something in Louisville's first eleven games that, that made you all think that you could press them effectively? Was there something in Louisville's first eleven games that made you all think you could press them effectively? What was that part of the game plan, big time? I want to say that. I mean, we know they can turn the ball over and things like that. Um, just have mental lapses on the defensive end when we ourselves coming in the game that was really the game changing moment. So, I mean, that's something that we got to go back and watch film on and pick up on that in practice. Derek, is there any kind of moral victory or anything you guys can take from the way, the way you play as a team? Um, yeah, we played really good. I mean, it's probably the only game I say. I mean, we really. Play together. I mean, even though we was losing, we still was clapping it up, getting on each other, saying it's not over and things like that. So yeah, I could take that away. Is this a sign of just how good this team can be moving forward in conference play? Yeah, it's a good sign. I mean, honestly, if we keep playing like this, I don't see, we shouldn't lose to nobody in our conference. This is for Jamal. Uh, what, what do you feel the program is right now after being four and nine? And does this give you room for hope in spite of the modest record? Uh, it definitely gives us hope, you know, we can go in our conference, like Derek said, you know, not losing the game, so, you know, we've seen where we're at and how, how capable we are to, you know, play hard, so, yeah, I think so. Got time for a couple more for anybody? This, this yes. is for Derek. 
Talk, Russ Smith uh, comes in off the bench and he continues to do this. What the problems does he give a team with, with his quickness? What What is it that he gives for them? He just has the mindset to score. I mean, that's something that he could have did a lot better on. He could have helped a lot more off the ball. I mean, he's a great player. I mean, I've seen him do this a ton of games. I mean, and this, this was just one of his nights. You've seen him play before, haven't you? Yeah. You've played against him before. Yeah. Has he changed at all in the past? Nah, not at all. I mean, he still can shoot the ball. He's, he just has an attack mode mindset. So. Anything else for anybody? All right, thanks, everyone.